keep your eyes on stars and foot on your ground and achieve anything you want is what Ella Group of Institute believes. An exclusive interview with Managing Director Nisha Thankar on the campus placements of LR Institute. Welcome to LR Group of Institutes. Ours is one of the best institutes in Himachal Pradesh. And I took over this institute post-COVID. And as we all know what COVID did to um, everybody, in fact globally, same happened to our institute also. So it became a very big challenge for me and my team to bring it to a level which uh, we were uh, before, post, uh, before COVID. So, and of course we are taking the challenge and uh, rest be assured we will come as number one once again. Ma'am, ma post COVID we have seen students have joined back, but mm -hmm. have we seen any difference in their IQ level? Yes, there is a marked change in the students post COVID because we all know how uh, the institutes were run. These kids, they had uh, their curriculum was uh, affected. Their uh, uh, study ka, what we can say ki how they went uh, for studies, kaise padte hai, their discipline, everything went uh, very uh, well for us actually. But uh, now that they have joined, so we are uh, putting them in a place and dheere dheere they all are coming back to the routine, a routine of a college. Ki we are ka, uh, doing the syllabus part, how we are catching up with the syllabus, how they are converting from being online to be in the classes and carry on. Because some of our students, they are coming online, they are coming to the college after being online for two years. So it is a marked change and um, they are coping with it very beautifully. Curricular activity. So, yeah. how do you plan to bring it back? Uh, because, as I was just telling you, ki everything was online, so we uh, nobody could do the curricular activities. Presently, we have started it. We have started uh, uh, the study study ka jo bhi curriculum hai. We are having a sports meet. We have already finished for three departments. We are scheduled to have it uh, next weekend also. Then uh, we are for so, uh, on the social ground. We are so we have started our small small um, programs in our auditorium. Like every Saturday, we do it for the uh, hostel kids. Plus, we had called uh, uh, Mr. Prince. He's our uh, local uh, comedian. He had come to our campus. We had a beautiful program. Uh, we have already done a seminar on drugs issue, the issue which is burning issue actually. I would say in Himachal and uh, Punjab. So we did a uh, um, seminar on drugs, um, drug addiction and uh, General Atul Kaushik had come. He had given a lecture and Mr. Manish Tomar had also come. Uh, he had also given um, how we can go about uh, um, this regarding this drug issue and how we can uh, overcome it. Or uh, we are also had, uh, holding a seminar regarding the women awareness uh, shortly. Um, plus uh, the um, uh, social activities, I, I would like to speak regarding the social activities which we are doing is we are uh, putting up certain small small programs for our um, hostel uh, kids. Uh, every Saturday we have a program. We have either whatever a movie show or a dance show, uh, fashion show, whatever is uh, and of course some sports show. Uh, Saturdays we have some sports uh, activities also. Uh, these are recommended by the kids also. I am taking them for trekking also and I will be shortly taking them to child also for a small visit. And um, one, one more thing I would like to add is that from outside uh, Mr. Prince had come and he had given a beautiful program which he uh, camp uh, the program was called as Campus Ke Sitare. And everybody enjoyed and it was uh, a program which uh, teachers, kids, uh, everybody enjoyed. It was not only for fosters, it was for everybody, the day scholars also. So this program is um, on TV also. So this is all, we, the proposal is like this, so this is how we will go about. What are the different courses Ella Group of Institute of Colleges is going to start for their students? We have uh, already going on seven uh, courses with us. Uh, we have B.Tech, all four uh, fields. We have Polytechnic, again four fields. We have Pharmacy. Uh, pharmacy means B-Pharma, T-Pharma and M-Pharma. Then we have MBA also. Uh, 
in MBA we have BBA, BCA and MBA, all three. Then we have uh, our law, five years integrated program for law also and a full-fledged uh, BA uh, also we are uh, taking. So these are seven. As far as proposal is concerned, of course we are coming up with the proposals. Like I'll tell you, um, the, we are uh, proposing a veterinary course uh, in our college which is uh, already 50% uh, uh, already we have taken NOC also for that. Uh, proposing to start in nursing also and of course PhD in pharmacy then I uh, am also trying to start NCC in our um, college. So these are the proposals and uh, as time uh, goes by we are, we are going to start with these programs also. To uh, bring student up to the mark especially in the practical subjects. Definitely this is one of our biggest challenges because to come up uh, to that level we have to work hard. First of all I would like to be uh, put as um, the best of the faculties, the best of the heads we are trying. Those faculties which are already existing with us they are also very nice, they are very hard working. I want to put up, uh, uh, I am uh, pushing them to uh, you know uh, to cross the to cross the barriers. They are putting up PPT presentations, they are putting up uh, seminars and all that so, so that it comes at par and uh, besides all this I would like to introduce more practical based uh, learning here in the institute so that a child uh, these days uh, this corona uh, covid times have taught us ki how practical um, knowledge is uh, why it is so important. So I'm trying to do this, ki we have more practical uh, knowledges, we are trying to send them to other universities or institutions where they can get the guidance and proper um, whatever um, is lacking they can put up from there. Uh, what are the percentage of the placements that students get from the LR group of institutes? Well, um, last two years you all are aware ki how the placements were there. Uh, in spite of uh, COVID, we have tried online placements also. So uh, since uh, uh, it was not possible to meet everybody, so online we had um, uh, this thing, uh, meeting with all the uh, whatever companies we could manage. So they um, did the placements as per that. But in future, we have we are putting up a placement cell in our um, institute, which is going to work out. We are already we have already tied up with many um, companies, and I am working on them. I am going forward to, uh, to invite many companies. Already they are uh, approaching us okay, that we would like to place your students. So and of course I am also going to go in and um, request companies to come to my college for placement. Ma'am, did you take the feedback from the companies about your students? Yes, I took those who are already approaching it. I had the first question I asked them is how do you know and why you are approaching us. So they had, um, in fact, few of our placements uh, earlier, they had spoken, uh, seen that uh, this thing and the new changes they have, they already uh, coming to that point, ki, yes, there are some changes visible in the uh, institute. So uh, they are approaching us ki how we are going about. I have been speaking to them also and they, are giving a positive response because they feel somewhere or the other our institute is promising good students. Why students should join LR group of institutes? I have always said one thing and believed in it and done it also that whatever in life you do, do it with a fixing of a target. Fix a target and go about it without thinking anything else. Nothing can stop you from reaching that target. And nobody, in fact, people will come and help you if they see what you are. We, I call it a junoon, that you should have a junoon. So my kids, I am doing like that. I personally go and motivate them. My teachers, my team is excellent. And they all motivate. If they have some problem, they always come to me. And I give them ki how you can go about motivating our children. But before that, and I would like to say that my kids are 50% already motivated. They ask me so many questions and they are very curious kids and believe me, I am going to uh, produce uh, international level kids very shortly.